Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be putting on the single seed potatoes for single seed potato challenge and I'm also going to be taking a couple more curtains and putting on the curtains we took last week or the week before into bigger pots and these can build in 30 litre containers and I'm going to be using some multi-purpose clover compost and family had manure, fish blood and bone and some potato fertiliser right, so you see all the plants are leaning down slightly that's because I've just been pulling them back to encourage these side shoots to grow up rather than straight up. And in the result, we've ended up with this one going quite long. So we can take that as a cutting. And I'm just going to take it just above that node on a 45 degree angle and dip that in some rooting powder and straight in the pot So we'll take off that one. And this one. You can see where I took the curtain from last time. And I left that little node and that sprouted another shoot. So we take that just above there. Again, you can see where I've been pulling it back. This side shoot has sprouted out quite a bit. This one's a good example. You can see where it's bent over, and these shoots all pointing up, which will make for a bigger plant in the end. Take one off this one. the rest of that plant now. I 
think that'll do for them. So that's another four cuttings. So that leaves me with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If these four take, these two, we've got roots coming out the bottom of the pots. So I'll get them potted on in a minute. So planting these a couple of handfuls in the farmyard manure. There's a compost in the bottom there. And then just gonna add a handful of potato fertilizer and a handful of fish blood and bone. What I'm going to try to do with these is instead of just planting them in like that, I'm going to try and lay them on their flat and curl them round the pot a bit so it sort of fills the whole pot. anything and I'll just give a slight dust in of Q4 mycorrhizal fungi I'll leave that a good few inches from the top and just top it up once the plant's grown up a bit and mulch around it with some grass clippings. Jesus, I don't know. So that's that one done, guys, and hopefully, we should have shoots coming up here as well. So the pot should be full rather than just having a single stem sticking out the top. So just do exactly the same with this one.
try and work out how I'm going to place it in the pot. of magpies or fungi to keep them roots apart a little bit. Just sort of twist the plant around the pot damage any of them shoots again. I'll just leave that a good few inches from the top and just top it up once the pot's filled up a bit. So I'll get these other three done. Right then, guys, so just before I put this last one in, uh, I just want to ask. Steve himself, is there any points for guessing what variety of potato it is for now? I think it's either King Edward or the Pink Picasso. Um, I know that because we've already got some potatoes forming in this one. And I can see the white and pink spots on them. So yeah, I think they're either King Edward or Pink Picasso. So that's them five done. And just gonna repot the first two curtains. And these can just go in just compost for now. Curtain number one. No shoots on that. Just for that testing of the mycorrhizal fungi. Up. 
cut in number two. Again, I shoot on that. I think it's been about a week and a half or two weeks since I did this. <coughs> Right, so all that's left to do now, give these a good water in, label them up. Right then guys, so I'm just keeping them in the empty part of my carrot bed for now. Give them a good water in. And I'll leave them in here until I start seeing some growth on them. But there's one more thing I want to do with these yet. So this is not their final place. But I'll show you that in a couple of weeks. So that's M5 had a good drink. Um, we'll go and do the others now. So, back in the polytunnel. And these two first kittens can now stay in here for probably two weeks. And then I'll plant them up into 30 litre containers as well. And then these four curtains, I'll just give them light water in now. And they can go up on top of the fish tank. And I'll just spray the leaves. And make sure that they stay moist. But it worked for these, so... Hopefully it should work for these and we could end up with 11 plants off a single seed. So that's about it for this one guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Helps out the channel a lot. And leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you're taking part in this challenge. It's hosted by Steve at Digwell Greenfingers. Head on over to his channel, check it out. I'll pop the link in the description. Right, so that's about it, guys. Bye for now.